simplify the following expression to its simplest form, considering that p is equal to 3 and q is equal to negative 2. To solve this question, we need to substitute in our known variables p and q and simplify until we get down to our simplest form. Let's start by making those substitutions. We have q, which is equal to negative 2, times 3p, which we know is equal to 3. And that is squared minus 2 times p, which again is 3, plus q, which is negative 2, minus p, which is 3. And all of that is squared. So now we need to follow our order of operations to simplify this down, starting with parentheses. So we could either start with the set of parentheses or the set of parentheses. I'll actually start over here because this will be a bit quicker. Negative 2 minus 3 will give us a negative 5, and that still is squared, plus, and now we can go through and resolve these. So we have um, first, we can handle our exponent, right? Because each set of parentheses also follows its own mini series of PEMDAS or order of operations. So let's do exponents. We have three times three, three squared would give us nine times three minus two times three. Then we would do multiplication next. So we have three times nine, which would be 27 and two times three, which would be six minus 2 plus negative 5 squared. Okay, and now the last step for that set of parentheses, we have 27 minus 6, which gives us 21. And now that set of parentheses is resolved, and we can move on to our next step, which would be exponents. And we only have one exponent, and that's over here. Negative 5 squared will give us a positive 25. Then we move on to multiplication and division, in this case just multiplication. 2 times 21 would give us 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we have a negative, right, a negative times a positive is still a negative, negative 42 plus 25. And for our final step, we need to do addition and subtraction. In this case, we're adding with a negative, which is the same thing as subtracting. So what I would recommend doing is set this up like a subtraction problem, no negatives, positive numbers. And then remember that when you're adding or subtracting with negatives, the biggest number carries the sign. So the absolute value of 42 is greater than the absolute value of 25. So our final result is going to be negative since 42 is the biggest number. So now let's do the subtraction. We would need to borrow 12 minus five will give us seven. And then three minus two will give us one. And remember, biggest number carries the sign, so it's going to be a negative 17, making that our most simplified form. Answer choice A is our correct answer.